Hi guys, welcome to Tutorial Ways, and in this video, I'm going to display you that how you can upload images using Angular in the front end and PHP MySQL in back end. You might have seen other video tutorials also, uh, which has been uh, provided to upload uh, images or uh, the files. But the difference between the other and mine is that I have tried to uh, provide you the comprehensive, the detailed tutorial on how you can upload images. And based on my own experience, because when working the projects, I feel different kinds of problems. So based on the problems, I have tried to provide this uh, tutorial. So the first one is the normal method. So if you have to upload a simple single image, in that case, this method is fine. But if you need to upload image, as well as you have to pass the additional data, for example, the text field or maybe IDs. So in that case, the first method is not useful. So the second one. So in the second method, I will display you, I will show you that how you can upload image using reactive forms. Reactive forms is one of the most convenient uh, method of uploading or uh, uploading the image. So reactive forms is one of the English very a good and uh, you know uh, a convenient way of submitting the form and also retrieving the form data. And the third one is form with the text field data is I explained you as I mentioned in the beginning that uploading images only is not sufficient. In most of the cases you have to upload images as well as you have to pass additional data. For example you need to pass IDs along with the image or maybe additional data for example first name last name Take an example, if you are working in an e-commerce project, in that case, you need to, uh, you know, pass data like, you know, uh, email, the title of the uh, product, the product name, product description, and price, and along with those, the images. So in that case, you have to pass this data as a combined to the server through REST API or other kind of API. So in that case, the third one, is useful and I'll display you that how we can do that and the last one is multiple uh, file upload so you might have faced in the real life uh, that it is not necessary that you will always upload single image you may have to upload the user may have to upload more than one image for example a product can have uh, more than one image for example you are setting a, a t-shirt so one t-shirt can have different colors different sizes so in that case you need to upload different images so the fourth one will be useful so in the next video i will start from the number one so stay connected and see you in the next video Bye -bye.